Well, I'm very proud to be part of Afghanistan cricket for this month, for this World Cup. You know, I've watched the Afghan cricket story uh, with great interest over the last few years. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a wonderful story full of uh, positive things, some amazing things, actually, from the creation of uh, your own leagues in Afghanistan, coming from almost no organized uh, and certainly no professional cricket to a situation where you're becoming a, uh, a very well-known um, nation both through playing international cricket but also through some of your best players playing in franchise cricket around the world. And that is, that is, as you say, that's my coaching world at the moment. Rarely uh, is, there, is in franchise cricket. Um, and I've been really loving that experience. So I've been I've worked with some of your best cricketers in various franchises around the world and I've really loved my interactions with them. Uh, when Reyes, uh, is it Reyes Ahmedzai, um, uh, asked me if I was interested in doing some coaching through this World Cup, I was really keen to get involved. I know Lance, I played against him, um, but most especially I think the Afghan cricket story is one that I know everyone back home in Afghanistan is extremely proud of. Um, and now I'm just playing a tiny little part in it uh, just at this World Cup. Preparation has been excellent so far, in, in my opinion. Um, we haven't actually had as lengthy a preparation as most nations, just because there were a few visa problems getting guys in from uh, Qatar or via Qatar uh, and into the UAE. Um, but the practices that we've had have been excellent. I've been really impressed with the work ethic uh, and the professionalism uh, in the Afghanistan squad. We've had two good practice games as well. Um, one in which, one against South Africa where we didn't play brilliantly, and then one against West Indies where we did play brilliantly. So lost one, won one, uh, but they were great preparation for our, our boys. Um, Nabi, the captain, uh, someone I've worked with closely in the past. Um, he's been excellent as a leader, uh, as has uh, your head coach, Lance Klusner. So it's been really good preparation. Uh, guys have put in some hard work and we're two days away from our first game against Scotland in Sharjah. Um, well, look, that's the vagaries of the game, is that you win some and you lose some. You know, no one wins all the time. And as you say, uh, we only had the, the, the one real practice together as a group before that first game. Uh, and South Africa are a really good side. They played a lot of their spinners against us on a slow pitch. And our batting side didn't handle it quite as well as we would have liked. Um, and, uh, but as you say, we came back really well. I think the guys are confident about their games. They've got a lot of confidence from playing some really good cricket for Afghanistan and around the franchises um, and so they they are they're taking that confidence they certainly they took it with them into the West Indies game where we played brilliantly um, and hopefully we take that confidence into the group games well um, I don't think I'm giving away any state secrets when I say that m more than likely um, we'll, de we'll certainly be playing our three top spinners at the moment, who are Rashid, Mujib and Nabi. And then we supplement that with the, the Seamers, Naveen, Karim Janat, Gulbadin, perhaps Hamid. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the selectors and Lance Klusen are going to decide upon. But, we've, but our, our strength is in is the combination of our three excellent experienced spinners. Um, and some seamers who haven't got the high pace that some of the other sides have, but they've got great skill and understanding of the game. And in these conditions, if we uh, employ that skill well, we can create a lot of pressure, which creates chances and, uh, and gives us a chance of winning the game. Um, well, usually I wouldn't like singling out people because it is a team game. Um, but in answer to your question, we are, we've obviously got a superstar in Rashid Khan um, and he is going to be really pivotal to us doing well. He's got, he is respected around the world. 
and because of that reputation people play quite conservatively against him which means that they have to be attacking against our other bowlers so um, he's, a, he's a huge part of Afghanistan cricket obviously I think I think we're gonna have a good tournament from Mohammed Nabi as well uh, we need a good tournament from him not only as a captain and a tactical captain and an inspirational and wise leader but also as an, uh, a key all-rounder you know how he bowls to not only to the left-handers but to the right-handers as well when they're trying to attack him is going to be very important for, in our bowling innings and how he bats is going to be important for us as well he's been working extremely hard in the nets and even though he hasn't scored a lot of runs over the last couple of years in franchise cricket from what i can see in the nets he's looking much more confident about what he's doing he's looking organized very motivated I think he's going to do something with a bat in this tournament as well. And then you asked for three. I'm going to go for the youngster, uh, Ramanullah Gorbaz. Uh, this young man, even though he's not playing, I don't think, in his preferred position at number one or two, more than likely he'll be at three in this tournament. Um, but this is a young man who has an excellent technique. Uh, he plays all the aggressive shots at, in 360 degrees. Um, and he's got power even though he's a small guy he works very hard on his fitness and his strength and he can hit the ball a long way so I expect really great things from him over the next few years for Afghanistan I hope also that over these qualifying games that he can do something special those are my three picks for you well we want to beat the two qualifiers there's no doubt about that Scotland and Namibia and then uh, we want to win one of those those bigger games India, Pakistan, uh, New Zealand, and see where that net run rate um, puts us. So uh, this is not an impossible achievement, but it's going to be tough, and we're going to have to play really good cricket. And I think the best way for us to do that is to focus on one game at a time. And the next game, and the first game that we've got is against Scotland in two days' time in Sharjah. That's what we'll be focusing on. Yes, I have been following it closely. I remember when I was England Lions coach, so the England A-team coach, uh, that we organised some games against Afghanistan here in Abu Dhabi, and we had a brilliant four-day game um, at this ground in Abu Dhabi where we're standing right now um, against against them, uh, where it was, it was a brilliant game for four days. We ended up winning it, uh, but only just by 